I'm Chris with Bella Canvas, and we're at Shirt Agency in downtown Los Angeles. Today we are going to compare a screen print with a direct-to-garment print. We're going to take this graphic of a bear and walk you through these two very different print processes, and then we'll compare the results. For this video, we're using artwork that has a lot of detail, so hopefully you'll be able to see a noticeable difference between the two. For those of you who are new to this, direct-to-garment printing, or DTG, is a method of printing where digital artwork is printed directly on a t-shirt. Screen printing is more of a traditional process where you burn a screen for each color and lay down the artwork in layers to create your final design. So we're here with Cole from Shirt Agency. We just got these printed. We did the DTG print and the screen print. Uh, we'll show you how each process was done later on in this video, but he's just gonna tell us the benefits between doing a DTG versus screen print. So DTG printing is basically getting printed straight from the computer onto the garment. And then with the screen printing, we're separating it into each individual layer. The limitations of the screen printing, the screen printing over here has about a 45 LPI dot. So the dot is visible to the naked eye. Whereas this DTG is getting printed at 1200 by 1200, so the resolution is just phenomenal. So let's go see how each of these were printed. All right, so the first step to any screen printing job is to separate the artwork. So here we have our white underbase. We're gonna put the white under every single color so that it is gonna be bright on a black garment. The next step in the process is to turn our artwork into individual films so that we can burn them into the screens. Um, on this film you can see that it is the white underbase and it's got all these little dots. The little dots are half tones and that's how we're going to trick people's eyes to see multiple colors even though we're only printing with six. So the next step in the process is to have our actual artwork burned into the screen and we rinse it out with water after it's been exposed with UV light. Once we've burned our screens, we head on over to the automatic. This first color right here is gonna be our white underbase. We're doing a white underbase because these are going on black heather and black cotton shirts. So we need something underneath our colors so that they really pop. After the underbase, it's gonna head on over to our flash. The flash is going to be curing the underbase for about six seconds at 425 degrees. It'll then swing around to our colors. Uh, the first color we've got is our red, just a little bit of red details. We've got our sky and our lake blue. Unfortunately, compared to the DTG, this is gonna be where we're gonna see one of the biggest differences because the true art has three, four blues in it and we simplified it down to just one. Next, we have the green for our trees, a nice golden color for some sun highlights. We flash it one more time and we head on over to the white top this white top is gonna to bring back the details in the clouds and it's gonna allow us to have a nice sharp image. So when we're printing with DTG, what we're doing is sending the artwork directly from the computer to the printing machine, basically the exact same way you would send it at your own home office. To do the DTG print, we're going to first have to pre-treat the dark garment. We pre-treat the dark garment so that it holds on to the white base and we can put the colors on top of it. After we've put the pre-treat on it, we're going to take it over to the dryer and then hit it with the heat press so we have a nice smooth printing surface. We then take it to our DTG machine where we print a base. It pauses for about two to three seconds and then we put all the colors on top. And then we have our finished garment that just needs to be hit with the heat press one more time so that it's fully dry. So the most obvious benefit is going to be the resolution. The DTG print is far uh, better at capturing that photographic feel. Um, the screen prints, because they're using a larger 45 LPI dot, um, they kind of get the impression of the image and you do lose some of that nicer detail you can hold up in the digital printing. So DTG at the moment is not a very quick uh, technology. We can do about 20 units per hour on each machine, okay. where when we're running a screen printing job, we might do like four to 600 in an hour, which greatly affects people's pricing. Right. Uh, normally on orders over 100 pieces, we recommend people just go 100% screen printing. Um, or if they really want the DTG, we have to add a little bit more lead time and maybe it takes two to three weeks. Let us know what you think of this video in the comments below, and please subscribe to our channel. We're bringing you new videos every single week.